want to ask you about a comment you made earlier this week. You said that America has, quote, never been a racist country, unquote. Protections for the institution of slavery were written into the U.S. Constitution. The White House was built with slave labor. Your home state of South Carolina seceded from the Union, fought a war to defend the enslavement of black people. Uh, I understand you don't think America is a racist country now, but we're here at a college. Do you really think as a, as a historical matter, America has never been a racist country? I mean, think about what you're saying. First of all, I will tell you, when you look at, you know, the Declaration of Independence, it was that, you know, men are created equal with unal un unal unalienable rights, right? That was what we all knew. But what I look at it as is I was a brown girl that grew up in a small rural town. We had plenty of racism that we had to deal with. But my parents never said we lived in a racist country. And I'm so thankful they didn't. Because for every brown and black child out there, if you tell them they lived or were born in a racist country, you're immediately telling them they don't have a chance. And my parents would always say, you may have challenges. And yes, there will be people who are racist. But that doesn't define what you can do in this country. And so I think it's important that we tell all kids that, look, America is not perfect. We have our stains. We know that. But our goal should always be to make today better than yesterday. It's hugely important. And that's the problem I have is we have too many people with this national self-loathing. It is killing our country. We have got to go back to loving America. We are blessed. Because that little brown girl in that small rural town in South Carolina, she grew up to become the first female minority governor in history. She then went on to be UN ambassador, and now she's running for president of the United States. I want every brown and black child to see that and say, no, I don't live in a country that was formed on racism. I live in a country where they wanted all people to be equal and to make sure that they had life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. Okay, but just to, just to push back a bit, because I was a history major in New Hampshire. Um, you're talking about the ideals of America, but America was founded institutionally on many racist precepts, including slavery. But when you look at said all men are created equal, I think the intent, the intent was to do the right thing. 